I think I've had too much of one of these today. My brain is not firing in all cylinders. All right, guys, we got a really cool bike built today. Uh, I'm gonna be doing performance tests on this, top speed, hill climbing. I'm gonna be going over everything on this bike, what motor system, what battery we did, the display. I'm gonna talk about what we did and what you can do too if you wanna do a bike like this. All right, guys, I'm Johnny Nerd Out. I build custom e-bikes. Go to johnnynerdout.com if you wanna support the shop, you wanna see what we got. We got all the latest and greatest custom e-bike build components to make you build your bike into the best e-bike out there. So what we do is we take a good bike, like this Kona Do, and we outfit it with the specific components that is gonna make the bike fit for you. It's like, it's like building a suit, you know? You don't wanna build a, you don't wanna buy a suit off of uh, Amazon or a direct to consumer suit. You wanna go in and you wanna get it fitted. You wanna make sure the bike fits you and then you wanna make sure that the motor, the battery, everything matches what your riding style is gonna be. What kind of power do you need? What kind of range do you need? Do you need a giant battery? Or do you want to go with like a small battery? This one we went with like a smaller battery. This is a 48 volt uh, Slim Shark battery. So all in right now, how this this bike comes in at is 43 pounds. This is super super lightweight. All in. I'm probably gonna upgrade this to a 52 volt, but we'll see. But yeah, let's just go over the bike and uh, tell you why I think this bike is just awesome. It's got 650 by 47 C tires. Uh, they're road road oriented there's not much grip on here you can see i was slipping up the hill when i was trying to climb it off going off road it's a hard tail no front suspension rigid front fork so this is definitely for commuting this is definitely for road not for not for trails or light trails like i say you, you can go on like hard pack campground trails on this but you wouldn't want to be catching air no jumping this off of uh loading docks that you're local circuit city we got this bike off of kona direct so this this was a cool company kind of wasn't and now it's cool again so i love kona i think they make awesome bikes but they sold to another company they just sold out like a couple years ago but then last summer they bought it back they had regrets they're like now nah, let's let's get this company back to what we want to do but before they bought it back the company in between here sold these things for dirt cheap i got this for like a little over 300 bucks brand new crazy deal this is a good bike it's got Shimano Altis components, Tektro brakes, mechanical disc brakes. We could always upgrade that to hydraulic if we want to, but the mechanical disc, disc brakes are just fine. Okay, so let's get into the, the, the meat and potatoes of this. What do we do to this? What do we outfit it with? So today we are using the 27 DMO2 500 watt mid-drive motor. This is, a, this is a, a newer motor on the scene. This is one of the first videos that I made about this motor. I've had this motor for probably a year and a half now. Just really haven't had a chance. Not too many people have wanted to put it on their bike, but this bike is actually for my wife. I got her a second bike. This will be our five year anniversary present. That's what five year anniversary presents should be. It should be e-bikes, not, what is it? Diamonds or something? It should be e-bike every five years. We got a 48 volt Slim Shark battery right here. Uh, and obviously this, this can, I could have gone with a 52 volt Slim Shark Jumbo. I could have gone with our 52 volt 30 amp hour triangle pack here. If you wanted to have crazy range, if you wanted to take this thing from coast to coast, I'd go with that triangle pack that's 52 volt 30 amp hour, 1.5 kilowatt hour. And you could probably get 150 mile range on this, on this battery. But I wanted to keep it lightweight, you know, this is more of like a commuter. This will be good for like a 30 mile range battery. So like, this is fine. Especially when you're pairing it to this motor, it's just super efficient. We went with the 42 tooth offset chain ring. I would recommend going with the offsets for these motor systems. If you're not sure if it's a regular bike, go with an offset. If you're doing a recumbent or something with a long wheelbase, like a long chain line, say your chain line's up here, your chain ring, you don't need the offset. But if you got like a short chain line like this, I would just recommend going with the offset whether it's 46 or 42, which I think those are the only two options as of now, I would probably get it offset. So we went with the 42, two, 42 tooth offset and chain line's great on this. There is no gear shift sensor for the DMO2s just yet. For the DMO1s, whether it's 750 or 1000 watt, there is a gear shift sensor, but not for the 500 watts. With a cadence or with a torque sensor, you really don't need a, uh, a, sh a shift sensor as much as if it was a, a cadence sensor. Like the Bafang motors, definitely get a shift sensor. There's a light set from 27 front and rear. And let's see if I could show you. It's kind of nice. These actually, the brake light actually lights up with the brakes. See that? It's kind of cool. I like it. It's safety. Up front here, we went with the LCD 135 display. This is the Bluetooth version. They do have a companion app that's available for Android. As far as I could tell though, that 
the app doesn't really do much. So I'm really hoping that they look into that and they, first of all, make it iOS compatible and they allow you to do stuff to, via the app. Right now, CYC is just absolutely killing the game with their app. They're coming after somebody. I don't know if it's Bafang or if it's CYC they're coming after, but they're trying to come after somebody. This is a nice display if you want big information up front. It's a center mount. If you're looking for something a little bit smaller, I would recommend going with the T24. That one sits off to the left side here. It's a little bit smaller like this, but both of these displays are compatible with 52 volts. All the other displays are kind of hit or miss when it comes to a 52 volt compatible. They'll work with a 48 volt battery, but if you want to have that compatibility, I'd recommend going with the LCD 135 color or Bluetooth or the T24. Uh, it does have a throttle here. People always ask me, can you put a throttle on it? Yes, it has a throttle. This one has a bell. You can see the headlight isn't like super bright, but it's definitely, it's definitely good if you get caught out at night. It's definitely better than nothing. Okay, let's go do a performance test. Let's go check uh, top speed with just throttle and let's go to the Widowmaker Hill and see what this thing can do. Okay, so you can see I got it up to 28, 29 miles an hour. Truth be told, I felt like the wind was at my back and there was a slight decline on this hill. 28, 29 is pretty generous for this. I did it again on another hill that was in, it was kind of going into the wind and I think I got up to about 24 miles an hour just on throttle. Obviously, if you're pedaling with it, you could go a little bit faster. I still say that's pretty respectable. I have a little 500 watt motor. If you're not looking for crazy speed, this could be a great motor. The hill climb, obviously you can see where 90 Newton meters of torque kind of uh, reaches its its peak. I could get up that hill if I put either a bigger gear back here or a smaller gear up here or both if I did that. If I went with like the 30, I think there's a 34 tooth option. And if I already got like a 46 tooth back here for the low gear, this would climb it for sure. So that's the good thing about going with a mid drive is that you're able to dial in that to get exactly what you want. It's that suit analogy. You're not buying a suit off of Amazon. You're getting one tailor made to fit your needs. One note about this. I do want to talk about this motor because the 27 motor, it's a this is a really good motor for this. This motor costs, I think a little over 300 bucks. So if you're looking for torque sensing, this is a really good, <laughs> really good option. The CYCs are a thousand dollars. So for a third of the price, you can get three of these motors for the price of one CYC. Now I will say CYC is the Mercedes of e-bike motors, components, all that. This is kind of, this is like a Mazda, I would say, like a mid-level Mazda. If you don't need a Mercedes, this is really good. But if you just want to have like, hey, I just want the best. I want to be able to grow into it. Get the CYC and don't think about it. But if you're like, man, for a third of the price, this one, or even if you want more power, go with this DMO1s. Those come in 750 or 1,000 watt. But so far, for just cruising around the neighborhood, campgrounds, 43 pounds all in, torque sensing. This thing feels really good. The torque sensing on this feels right there with CYC. Different motor systems for different people. Head to Johnny Nerd Out. If you guys got other questions, call the shop, find us on Google Maps, go to find us at uh, johnnynerdout.com. Be happy to help you guys out, help support the shop. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.